a very interesting event took place in connection with his departure. This happened at the railway station. We were all seeing him off at the Nikolovsky station. G was standing talking to us on the platform by the carriage. He was the usual G we had always known. After the second bell went, he went into the carriage. His compartment was next to the door and came to the window. He was different. In the window we saw another man, not the one who had gone into the train. He had changed during those few seconds. It is very difficult to describe what the difference was, but on the platform he had been an ordinary man like everyone else, and from the carriage a man of quite a different order was looking at us, with a quite exceptional importance and dignity in every look and movement, as though he had suddenly become a ruling prince or a statesman of some unknown kingdom to which he was travelling and to which we were seeing him off. Some of our party could not at the time clearly realise what was happening, but they felt and experienced in an emotional way something that was outside the ordinary run of phenomena. All this lasted only a few seconds. The third bell followed the second bell almost immediately, and the train moved out. I do not remember who was the first to speak of this transfiguration of G when we were left alone, and then it appeared that we had all seen it, though we had not all equally realised what it was while it was taking place. But all, without exception, had felt something out of the ordinary. G had explained to us earlier that if one mastered the art of plastics, one could completely alter one's appearance. He had said that one could become beautiful or hideous, one could compel people to notice one, or one could become actually invisible. What was this? Perhaps it was a case of plastics.